Hey everyone, Michael Bodner here with another Tesla Tunity, and today I'd like to take a look at lane departure avoidance with you. It's a brand new feature. I've had it for just a couple days now. I've been using it every day, and I'd like to show you how it works and give you my review. So come along with me and check it out. Okay, so here you can see it in the autopilot menu under lean departure avoidance. Three settings, it could be off, it could be a warning, or it could be assist. So again, assist is the brand new functionality that will take corrective action and steer your car back into the lane if you're not an autopilot, or auto, auto steer, I should say, driving down the road. Um, warning will just give you an audible alert, as well as I believe a steering wheel vibration, but it will not correctively place you back in the lane. And of course, off means your car is free to roam the road <laughs> with no assistance and no warning if you decide to leave the lane that you're in. All right, so we're going straight now. We're going over 40. Let's switch to the left. There you can see uh, the car was not happy. So not only did it push us back into our lane, avoiding a car accident potentially, uh, it also gave us a pretty good audible warning right there on the screen. All right, so the previous test, I kind of let the car go. Let's see if my hand is on the wheel, but very lightly. There you go. Did it again, and then that, uh, that audible warning doesn't seem to clear until I kind of tug on the wheel a little bit again. Now, let's say my hand is not on the wheel. I just kind of positioned it to drift. Perfect. You can see, again, I do not have autopilot engaged, and it's taken us back to the lane. Let's see if we could kind of go into this right turn lane up here. That one it let us go into. So uh, certainly it's not a perfect science. Um, it's, it's not a cure-all, but it's a help. And uh, I would say that's all you could ask for. Let's see, uh, you know, we'll get it to do it again. So it seems to be pretty good at drifting to the left. Let's uh, see if that was, uh, if it's not as good going to the right or if that was just a, a turn lane, an interesting situation. Huh. So it looks like it's comfortable with going to the right. Okay, so here, let's, uh, we'll try this right here. Just kind of let it drift to the right. No one's around us. It's a really quiet weekend morning here for the holiday weekend. Um, so you can see the car seems to be fine with drifting to the right. Um, it wants to save you from drifting to the left. I don't know if that's the same for everybody, but certainly what we're experiencing so far. All right, so we've turned onto a bigger road here. It's a three-lane road. We're gonna start in the middle lane. Let's uh, get up to speed here, and let's let's get to the right. Okay, there we go. Um, yep, we got it, we're driving now, thank you. <laughs> so maybe it had something to do with being on a, on a two-lane road there, but uh, you can see clearly this is making us a better driver, right? Blinker on, go to the right, no problem. Um, no blinker on and you start to leave your lane. You know, maybe you're fumbling for a, a wallet or a phone that you've dropped or doing something with the kids in the back seat. This is gonna help you with that. There you go again. You can see the car pulling us back to the right. Take control immediately. Vehicle is departing the lane. All right, so there you have it. That's lane departure avoidance. Brand new update from Tesla. My car is 16 months old and this brand new free safety feature was just added to my car while it was parked overnight in my garage. You just don't get that from the other auto manufacturers. So um, if you're interested in a Tesla or if you'd like to know more about this functionality, please hit me up in the comments down below. If you're buying a brand new Tesla and you'd like free supercharging to go with that order, I've got a link in the description as well as the comments down below. Click on the link before placing your order. You'll get free supercharging. I'll get some free supercharging and uh, we'll both be happy about it. Um, depending on when you order, it could be 5,000 miles if you get it done here in the next couple of days. Um, or it'll drop down to 1,000 miles starting uh, here at the end of May. So jump fast if you're ready to order. You'll get great functionality like this and um, anything new that comes up along the way. So that's all I have for you on this one, everyone. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.